Y E. Now who was who was Joe Joachim Amatekwe? My brother, my sister, come along. This is the African history class. And I want to say thank you so much to all those in the African history class. From Monday, we will start marking the register. I see all of you. The class is filled to capacity. All you wonderful people. On Monday, we will mark the register. Now, Joe Akim Amatekwe was a Ghanaian politician. In fact, why are we talking about him today? We do not know exactly when he was born. But some people say he was born around 1940. 1940. And he was born right here in the Gold Coast, specifically in Accra. My brother, my sister, today we're talking about Joachim Amatekwe. Now listen to this. Now Joachim Amatekwe was born circa 1940. In Accra, the Gold Coast, at that time. Hear me now, my brother, my sister. Joe Akim became a member of the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, right after Hila Liman was overthrown by Jerry John Rawlings. In fact, he became one of the original seven members of the Provisional National Defense Council, the PNDC. Appointed after the military overthrow of the Liman government of the Third Republic of Ghana. In those days, they had all the power. Soldiers were on the street beating people, shaving them with blunt cutlasses, beating women in their vaginas right there inside the Kayetia market, my brother, my sister. We saw the heinous crimes that came up. Joe Akim Amatakwe was one of the original members of the PNDC. Hear me now. Something happened in 1982. In fact, we had a curfew. Remember in the days of Rawlings, there were curfews all over the place. And the curfew would be announced on radio. There was a long horn that came at 6 o'clock on the dot warning everybody to go indoors. And it played on our radio, GBC1 and GBC2. It was supposed to warn people all over Ghana that once you heard the siren, you had to go and sleep. How many people were around around that time? 1979, beyond. I was only five years in 1979. Hear me now. My brother, my sister. Now, when the curfew was on, there were some high court judges who were threatened in the days of Rawlings, what did the high court judges do? They had ruled in cases that freed some prisoners that the PNDC had jailed illegally. And these judges included Justice Kwejo Aj Ajepong, Fred Pokusa Kodie, and Cecilia Corantin Ado. At that time, Cecilia Corantin Ado was pregnant with her fifth child. In fact, the only child she was going to have with her new husband, Ado, she never got to have the child. They were abducted from their homes because they ruled against um, the PNDC government at that time. They were killed and burnt just around Bundansi. Bundansi. And two days after, people saw the charred bodies. And the alarm was raised. The NDC government, I beg your pardon, PNDC government, became very, very apprehensive. And it got international attention. Shikata, Nana Konedu, Ajima Rollins were both fingered. And Amate Kwe was in prison. In fact, he was arrested alongside some other people. One of them escaped. My brother, my sister, at the Insawan prison. And Amate Kwe said, that Kojo Chikata knew something about the death of those people. They were actually hired by Kojo Chikata and some other people to do that. Later, there was a tape that Rawlings himself recorded from Amate Kwe, and he debunked all those things and asked for forgiveness from Kojo Chikata. If he had any last words to say before he was shot at the firing squad, he said everything that he had should be sent 
and giving to his children. He was shot and killed at the firing squad at, around John Tay at Insawam on the 18th day of August in 18, 1983. My brother, my sister, this is the Blackport, a.k.a. Kukushunemo, where we speak truth to power. And today, we've been talking about Joaquin Amate Kwe. In the very enough knowledge, I ask you now that you know what to do, do be an annual lay a mini over fair Zunda Kagani, Mezaka in a year and Pabango Bokai and Fifia in Yanukai Nawa, but I am who a bed dang Lele and Jiman Singer Bekuni. Catch me again on Monday between one and five when we do four hours of the taxi driver show. I remember this is the show where your product will sell most. I'm waiting for you. To be the one to advertise your product. Until then, this has been the Blackport. My name is Black Rasta. 505 is next. And we catch you first with our news. And we give you the best before the rest start to taste it. Ta-ta!